Quest Loops. Quest Loops are connected to strange myth. In this video clip I will analyze whether or not these myths are substantiated. Up front, what are Quest Loops? Every player has his main quest row. You have to solve these quests, otherwise you will not make progress in the game. You cannot abort the main quest row. Beside that, you have side and story quests. You can either complete them or abort them. You will always receive a new quest. If there are no more side quests available for a certain age, you will receive repeatable quests. There are always eight different quest rows. Once you completed or aborted the eighth, you will get the first one again, just like in a loop. This is why players call it quest loops. According to quest loops, there are two myths. The first says, this way you can easily collect tons of diamonds. Is that correct? To verify this myth, I founded a new city. Here I built many blacksmiths. A blacksmith only consumes very little space and I know that the first quest of a recurring questline will be a task regarding the blacksmith. Concrete, it is requested to produce two helmets, the 24-hour production of the blacksmith. In return, you will receive a random reward. The myth is based on the fact that one of the possible rewards is a package of diamonds. Even if chances for that are only 8%, someone could complete that task very often and collect many diamonds this way. Hoping to receive mountains of diamonds, people can do that extremely often. Indeed, the first diamonds are coming soon. The first hit is motivating to continue. I will be rich soon! Far away from reality. I did that extremely long to be absolutely sure. You will never get diamonds a second time for recurring quest lines in the same age. And in case you would advance to a new era, you then would receive quests for that next age. All these blacksmiths then no longer make sense. Also, my forge points are wasted. Without architecture, I cannot support other players' great buildings. This was different long time ago. A player named Serpent66 once published that he collected 20,000 diamonds that way. InnoGames identified that as a problem and fixed it soon in 2013. Those who find hints saying that you will get lots of diamonds with loop quests simply read outdated information. The second myth says you get tons of medals and goods. Indeed, you do not get only coins and supplies for your quests. On average, every third reward are goods, sometimes even medals or blueprints. The handicap is, as described before, you cannot advance to the next age. But in the new age, you will receive many more coins and supplies from your buildings. So, beside the advantage of receiving many goods, a player using loop quests is slowing down his progress in this game. He definitely will not take an advantage that is unfair. By the way, quest loops are boring. 
This game can make so much fun. You should not reduce it to do exactly the same every day. Every guild expedition gives you much more advantage. Therefore, my hint, forget about quest loops.